So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael, take a seat and I'll teach you how to play Quantum by Funforge, a game of interstellar combat where your ship are dice, which is a bit weird, and those dice will tell you both your combat strength and also your speed of movement. So let's take a look at the game. You'll start setting up the game by picking a map to play from the sector map sheet, which is double sided. We're going to go for Alpha Sector, which is the basic two player map. So, knowing which map we're going to play, we now need our tiles. And according to Alpha Sector, we want mostly tiles with a seven on, and it doesn't matter which one you use or which side. All that matters is the number, and we're going to need one with an eight on in the middle, like so. Then with the map played out, each player needs to pick a faction. And the only difference here is the colour of the faction. So we're going to set up with blue and red and return the others to the box. Each player will then collect all the dice of their colour and a number of quantum cubes as stated by the map you're playing. The quantum cubes, they'll sit on the player board in the quantum cube space. One of the dice, they'll sit as a one in the dominant space one as a one in the research space. Two of the dice they'll just set to the side for now. These are reserve dice that you can get through advanced cards. And then three you will roll. Each player at this point can choose to re-roll all of their dice if they want once. But you must then keep the second roll. Whoever has the lowest value on their dice will be your first player. Then, starting with your first player, each player will take one of the quantum cubes off their player board and place it on one of the squares on a planet. There is one of the starting tiles for the map you are playing. Then, having done this, they will place their dice in orbital positions around that planet. They can't go on the corner spaces, it must be on those adjacent to the spaces. Then take your advance cards and separate them into the two decks so that you've got your command white backed cards and your black gambit cards. Shuffle both of these independently and then lay out three cards from each deck as the available market. Finally place the white and black die next to the board and you're ready to begin. The aim of the game is it's a race to get rid of of all your quantum cubes and you'll do this by placing them on planets. Now there are two ways to do this. Firstly if you have ships in the right position you'll be able to use some of your actions to place a cube or if you attack enough and build up your dominance you'll be able to place a cube. As soon as a player places their last cube they win the game and the game is over. A player's turn is made up of two phases. Firstly, you have the actions phase where they can do free actions and also use ship abilities. And secondly, you have the advanced cards where if a player has met the right criteria, they're able to take cards. Once they finish their turn, it's then the next player's turn and so on until the game ends. During a player's action phase, they have five choices of actions and they can perform the same action multiple times, except that each ship can only perform each action once. Also, each of their ships is able to use their special ability, but each ship can only use one special ability a turn. The first of the five action options is reconfigure, where you can take any of your dice, either in your scrapyard or on the board, and re-roll it, and then place it back on the space it came from. Now if it comes up with the same number you can keep re-rolling until you do get a different number from what it originally was. The second action is deploy. You could take a ship out of your scrapyard and place it in an orbital position of a planet where you have a quantum cube. Note that it is orbital position, you couldn't place it in a corner spot. Third action is move and attack because attacking actually just happens as part of a move, it's not a separate action. In order to attack someone, you must move into their space. Now, the number of spaces a ship can move is equal to the value of their ship. So this one can go one, two. It's important to note you can't move diagonally unless 
you have a five. Fives can move diagonally. When you move into a space with another ship, you'll then initiate combat. But you can't move through your own ships, and you can't move through enemy ships, and you can't move through planets. To resolve a combat, you will move into the space. You each then roll one of the black or white dies. They then add on their ship values. Whoever has the least will win, with attackers winning ties. If you are the defender and you lose, your ship is destroyed. When a ship is destroyed, you re-roll it and place it in the scrapyard. If you're the attacker and you lose, your ship simply goes back to the space before it moved onto the enemy's ship. There is no penalty for failing as the attacker. Also, if you destroy an enemy ship, you'll take your dominance die and you'll increase it one value. If it reaches six, then you're going to get to immediately place a quantum cube. If your ship is destroyed, then instead your dominance goes down by one. The fourth action is construct cube and requires you to have ships with a value equal to the planet's value in orbital positions. They can't be on the corner spaces. And this must be exact. It can't go you over or under at all unless you have a special power that allows you to do that. If you have the required ships, you can use two of your actions, keeping in mind you only have three, in order to immediately place a quantum cube there. If there are no spaces on the planet because there's already a cube there, you can't then place a cube there. In the situation of planets such as this eight here, where there are multiple spaces for cubes, if you already had a cube there, you cannot place another cube there. Final action is the simplest action, and that is research. All you do is increase your research die value by one. If you reach six, then during phase two, you'll get to take an advanced card. Once you've finished all your actions, you then move on to phase two, which is your advanced cards. And this is the only point during your turn you are ever able to gain advanced cards. If anything would mean that you gain advanced cards, it's deferred until this point. You get one card for each quantum cube that you place this turn. And also, if you have research breakthrough, which means your research die is at six, you'll get one card as well. When you use your research breakthrough to get a card, you'll return your research die back to a value of one. When you take an advanced card, you choose from any of the six face up. And as soon as you take a card, a replacement card will come out. If you take one of the black gambit cards, these are immediate effects and the card is discarded once the effect is resolved. If you take one of the command cards, this will go next to your player board and will fill one of your free command card slots and will give you a permanent power for the rest of the game. If you already have free command cards and you want to take another one, you can do so, but you'll have to get rid of one of your old ones first. So the last thing to cover is the ship's abilities. A dice with a value of one is a battle station and its ability is strike. This allows it to attack an adjacent ship, meaning that the dice moves in. Now, because this is a ship ability, this means that you can use this attack to move one and attack, but you could also use your standard movement action for this ship to do an attack as well. A two on the dice means that it's a flagship and it has the transport ability. As part of its normal movement action, it is able to pick up another one of your dice from any surrounding space. So this means that it can be at a diagonal, it does not need to be orthogonal. It will pick it up and then at any point during its movement, it can choose to drop it off in a surrounding space. A three is a destroyer, and it has the ability to warp, which allows you to swap places with any of your other ships that are on the map. Four is the frigate, which has the modify ability, allowing you to choose to either turn it into a value three ship or a value five ship. Five is the interceptor and its ability is that it's maneuverable. As I mentioned earlier, during movement, it can move diagonally. And finally, the six is a scout. 
its ability is that you can do a free reconfigure action. And this works the same as a normal reconfigure action in that if you roll a six again, you can keep re-rolling until you do get a different number. And that is how you play Quantum by Funforge. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do like it and also share it and take a look at the other videos on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.